In the ancient city of Athens, nestled amidst the lush lands of Greece, lived Theseus, a young man of great courage, noble lineage, and an indomitable spirit, born to either Poseidon, the mighty god of the sea, or Aegeus, the esteemed king of Athens, and the mortal queen Aethra, Theseus had an extraordinary destiny awaiting him. However, during his childhood, Theseus was raised far from his rightful home, Athens. His mother, Aethra, sought to protect him from the turmoil that plagued the city. Instead, she sent him to live in the small village of Trozen, under the watchful care of his wizened grandfather, King Pythias. Under the tutelage of his wise grandfather, Theseus grew up to embody the values of honor, strength, and compassion. He trained diligently in combat, honing his skills with the hope of one day returning to Athens and reclaiming his birthright as the true heir to the throne. As the years passed, rumors of a dreadful fate haunted the people of Athens. Every nine years, they were bound by law to send seven courageous boys and seven virtuous girls to the fearsome King Minos of Crete, as a horrific tribute and sacrifice to the bloodthirsty Minotaur, a monstrous creature, half man and half bull, residing within the treacherous labyrinth. Filled with righteous indignation and unwavering determination, Theseus decided it was time to put an end to this torment that plagued his people. He embarked on a treacherous journey to Crete, donning his gleaming armor and clutching his trusty gleaming sword. The voyage across the fierce Aegean Sea was riddled with peril, but Theseus, guided by an unyielding spirit, reached the shores of Crete unscathed. As he set foot on the island, he witnessed a land consumed by fear and despair its inhabitants slaves to the savage rule of the Minotaur. Theseus resolved to face the beast head on and free his people from the clutches of terror. He stealthily made his way towards the labyrinth, a maze so complex and bewildering that none who entered had ever returned. Unbeknownst to Theseus, his audacity had captured the attention of Ariadne, the beautiful daughter of King Minos. In an act of unforeseen kindness, Ariadne approached Theseus and presented him with a slender thread, an invaluable lifeline that could guide him through the intricate labyrinth and back to safety. Grateful for her aid, Theseus accepted the gift, knowing that he owed her a debt of gratitude. Armed with his courage in the thread, Theseus descended into the dark abyss of the labyrinth, as he traversed its intricate corridors, filled with twists, turns, and chilling echoes, the echoes of his own bravery resonated within him, bolstering his resolve to slay the Minotaur. The air grew thick with tension as he approached the heart of the labyrinth, where the dreadful beast awaited. Theseus drew his gleaming sword and prepared for the imminent encounter. The clash between man and monster was a sight that would forever echo throughout history. With every swing of his blade, Theseus fought valiantly, matching the ferocious might of the Minotaur blow for blow. Blood spilled upon the cold, stone floor, as the battle raged on with an intensity that shook the foundations of the once impenetrable labyrinth. In a display of valor and sheer determination, Theseus struck a fatal blow, piercing the heart of the Minotaur. The monstrous creature let out a roar of agony that reverberated through the labyrinth, and the fateful battle came to an end. Buoyed by victory and guided by the radiant thread, Theseus retraced his steps through the labyrinth, his heart thrumming with anticipation of the freedom he was about to claim for his people. As he emerged into the blinding sunlight, he was met with a mixture of awe and relief from his fellow Athenians. Yet, as Theseus was about to return to Athens a hero, his mind was burdened with thoughts of the kind-hearted Ariadne, who had aided him in his darkest hour. He resolved to seek her out and offer her a chance at freedom, away from the clutches of her tyrannical father and the devastating grip of despair that had plagued her life. After embarking on a treacherous journey together, fueled by his desire to protect Ariadne from a life of oppression, Theseus made the heart-wrenching decision to abandon her on the enchanting island of Naxos. The reasons for this act remain shrouded in mystery, yet it is said that conflicting pressures or unforeseen circumstances compelled him to leave Ariadne behind, shattering her hopes and dreams. Although this conclusion may seem disheartening, it marks the beginning of a new chapter for Theseus, Upon his victorious return home, Theseus, the dauntless hero who dared to challenge destiny and emerge triumphant over the formidable Minotaur, was celebrated as a savior by the grateful people of Athens. Overflowing with appreciation and awe, their hearts were captivated by this fearless youth who had bravely ended their plight. Little did Theseus know, his journey was far from over, 
as he would soon embark on new adventures and undertake further acts of heroism that would ensure his name would forever be enshrined in the annals of Greek mythology. Through his tale of valiance, he would be immortalized, forever remembered for his courage and unwavering commitment to love and sacrifice.